Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Fine, Fine Pine Tree Day. Today is February 3rd, 2017. I'm Louisa Lowry, coming to you from the Pine Newsroom. Let's please start our day with a brief moment of silence. All faculty and students, parents and guests, please stand for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The following people are celebrating birthdays today and this weekend. Bailey Ferris, Hudson Hogan, Lauren Ants Pickens, Grace Foster, Samuel Foster, Roberto Marcano, Caitlin Bogan, and Sadie Evans. We hope you have a great birthday. Remember to go to the main office for your birthday treat. Happy birthday. Here are a few reminders. Bay bottles are on sale today at lunch. The school store is open each morning. Come by and see us for your school supply needs. Don't forget the Pine Street Fun Run on March 11th. Save the date. Valentine grams for 50 cents. Today for lunch, we have a hot dog with chili, barbecue pork sandwich, and a pizza bagel fun lunch. Last Friday was the 100th day of school. And by the way, did you get to see our 100-year-old first graders? Also, Pine Street collected 4,500 canes. And now you've all been waiting for our Teacher Feature Friday. This week we have the Flamingo-tastic Miss Gilstrap. Good morning, Pine Street. This is reporter Ben Skinner coming to you from the Flamingo-tastic Miss Gilstrap's room. How are you today, Miss Gilstrap? I'm great. How about you, Ben? Good. How do you like Pine so far, being a new teacher? I absolutely love it. I wish that I would have started here uh, 20 years ago when I started teaching. I see there are many flamingos in your room. Can you tell us about them? Um, there are a lot of flamingos in here. Uh, most of the flamingos in my room were given to me by students over the last several years that I taught. I think it just started out with one flamingo and then more and more flamingos kept trickling in. So now I have a bunch of flamingos and I can just about tell you every student who gave me each one. What is your favorite color? Pink. <laughs> have you always taught fifth grade? I have not. I um, started out teaching seventh grade at Whitlock Junior High School here in District 7 and then I went to Union, I live in Union, and I taught fifth grade there at Excelsior Middle School and then I taught uh, third, fourth, and fifth grade at Foster Park Elementary School in Union and then I taught sixth grade at Sims Middle School also in Union and then I was the curriculum coach in Union for two years and now I'm here. Can you tell us about your family? I have three children. Gabriel is my son. Right here. Right here Gabriel. My son Hi. is in the fifth grade here. And Hi. then I have a daughter named Madeline who is 13. She's in eighth grade at Sims Middle School in Union. And then I have a four-year-old daughter named Lydia who will be here at Pine Street with me next year. And my husband's name is Jared and he's a police officer. Is there a little known fact about you that you could share with us? Hmm. I guess probably the fact that I would share is I love Christmas. I start decorating for Christmas around Halloween and everybody thinks that's kind of strange that I do that. We have several Christmas trees in our house. I just love Christmas. I think that I should have been Mrs. Claus. Um, what is your favorite sport to play or watch? Oh my goodness. Really? I'm not real big into sports. I guess if I had to pick one, it would be football. What is your favorite sports team? Definitely the Gamecocks. Go Cox! Go. <laughs> what is your favorite book or author? My favorite author has always been Beverly Cleary. I love the Ramona books. I love to read those with my class, and this year we've not read those, so those are coming up. Um, what are your hobbies? My hobbies? Hmm. There's a lot of things I would like to do, but I guess I really don't have a whole lot of hobbies because I have three children. My hobbies include shuttling them to piano and dance and everything else. So that's probably my hobby. I know flamingos aren't that groovy, but you look like you can dance, so it's time for a random dance.